what's up guys he got me here let's go through 30 stamina kimono in pull down units or kimono prisoners or some kind of kimono banquet island i'm not actually sure what the name's gonna be i think the the translation is something something feast we're gonna use a we're gonna use a israeli friend why not we're gonna use a buggy captain a free to play buggy team um because I feel like doing it. The island is uh, it's nice to have an int team or a quick team because our two bosses are gonna be Jinbei and Mr. One. Mr. One is going to be a strength captain and I mean strength character and Jinbei is going to be a side character. So having some nice strong either quick characters or nice strong int characters are very nice. Now the condition for this island is that we get lots of, or we can have bomb orbs, 10 orbs, and loud G orbs appear. Oh yes, there's the G. Now G orbs are a brand new type orb that just came out with the most recent character, up, or the most recent Sugglefest. And what G orbs do is G orbs will boost the character's attack by 1.5 times. So if you had a matching orb that boosts your attack by two times, but a G orb only boosts it by 1.5 times. So a G orb is worse than a matching orb, uh, but there's a G and that's really all that's important to us. So something else to note is that if you're using a G orb, it is boosted by, uh, G orbs are boosted by orb boosters. So if you use a Doflamingo or if you use a, uh, Kobe or something like that, it will boost that orb's effectiveness, but uh, G orbs do not count as a matching orb for uh, ace teams. So ace captain, stronghold ace, if you don't know what he does, if you have a matching orb on a stronghold ace team, he boosts your attack by three times, or he boosts a shooter attack by three times, and G orbs do not count for it. So if you have a G orb on a character, it does not give a three times attack boost, it only gives a 2.5 times attack a two times attack boost and I know for sure because I have tested it out just to make sure because I was curious to see if it worked or not so don't I mean, you can use this double strong ace team if you have a double strong ace you'll absolutely do fine with this this island isn't too hard if you got some decent level characters Boop. no I don't want to attack that attack in the right order and of course you can always make colors uh, your orbs show up it's a very low chance of getting orb colors to show up, but they do show up. So you can't get your red, green, blue, yellow, pink orbs or purple orbs to still show up. You just have a lower chance of getting a much lower chance. Usually you'll get G orbs, tandem orbs, food orbs, or bomb orbs. Uh, I guess I'd say about 90% of the time one of those orbs will show up. Boom. Just going to go through the regular Stolly doll here. Uh, Mr. One has about 150,000 attack and he'll preemptively boost his defense for two turns. The secret stage for this island is Buggy. He is a quick Buggy, so having some dex characters are kind of nice, but it's not too important. And Mr. One, back to Mr. One again, will attack every turn for 3,300 damage. Under 50%, Mr. One will silence your captain for three turns and deal 5,500 damage. So Mr. One does some decent damage. If you can, you want to get him above 50% and then kill him for the second half. What we're going to do is we're going to get him, uh, if we do take a hit from him, I'm going to try to get him above 50%, take a hit, use Mr. 3, and then continue onwards. It should work fine. Boom, boom. We got to be a little careful with Mr. 1. His health will disappear a lot quicker than you expect because he do has, uh, he does have like a pretty high defense. That he do has, he does have a pretty high defense. So we want to uh, try to avoid uh, doing too much damage at once to him because we don't want to take that silence for three turns. It is very annoying unless you have anti-silence orbs, which I think I only have level one on right now. Remember that bomb orbs do not affect your damage. Bomb orbs are neutral orbs and don't do anything to how much damage you do. But that G orb does you 1.5 times attack and that's what we're going to be looking for. Another G orb. It's going to be cutting a little close on the damage here. That should be fine. I think Rayleigh's still stronger than you. Oh, there we go. That's fine. Trying to save your Gompan Usopp for a Jinbei. Jinbei will preemptively lock someone for three turns. I mean, five turns, sorry. 
We're going to use Helmepel to reduce the cooldown by 3 turns, is what I wanted to say. You can also use your friend Rayleigh to reduce it by 5 turns if you have your Rayleigh already finished. So Rayleigh is really nice to have on this island because not only does he do extra damage to Jinbei, he also completely removes the lock that Jinbei would do to one of your characters. Now Jinbei will uh, not only preemptively lock every 5 turns, he'll attack every 2 turns for 6,800. And then under 50%, he will disappear a unit, and that means it makes a unit just go away forever uh, as soon as he gets under 50%. So it's not under 50%, and when he attacks, he just, as soon as it's under 50%, he just makes your character disappear. And I've got two food orbs here, so I'm going to try to do a little bit of damage and use the food orbs at the same time. I'm going to heal, attack, heal attack should be above 50% take a hit for 6,800 then use Golden Pound Usopp if you have Golden Pound Usopp in the bottom row or whoever you use in the bottom row make sure you use them first because they will go or I guess I'm sorry he he will disappear somebody randomly not just your bottom row characters uh, he I've already had it disappear in my middle row so right here even though it's not his attack boo, who are you gonna make it away by Aokiji. Oh, I liked Aokiji. So Aokiji is now gone. He's never coming back for the rest of this island unless I die. But we don't want to die. Jinbei also doesn't do anything under 20%. So as soon as you use Golden Pound Usopp against Jinbei, you should be totally fine. Uh, it's just preferred that you try to avoid that under 50% until you're ready to get him lower. Because it is really annoying to try to fight with 5 people. But it's not the worst thing in the world. So that's it. That's the island. Uh, they both have some decent damage. I'd say bringing two stalling characters is nice to be able to stall on Mr. Three, uh, Mr. One, and stalling on Jinbei. Jinbei is probably the more dangerous one because he attacks really hard. Under 50%, he also attacks for 8,900 when Jinbei attacks. So Jinbei attacks hard with a regular attack and attacks super hard under 50%. Mr. One uh, attacks a decent amount every single turn and will silence your captain for three turns under 50%. So what do they actually do, right, is the next question. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go down the list. Jinbei, I don't have Buggy yet, but we'll start with Jinbei. Jinbei, Jinbei, Jinbei is a Psy unit. Jinbei. Jinbei! He boosts fighter character's attack by two times and reduces the damage you take by 10%. And his special... Cuts the health of your opponents by 10%, and boosts fire character's attack by 1.5 for two turns if your character's health is low whenever you use a special. So we're not quite sure what low is. I believe low is under 30%. Uh, I'm not sure if it's under 30% or under 50%. I haven't tried it yet. But if you have either under 30 or under 50%, whenever whatever one it actually is, he boosts fire character's attack by 1.5 for two turns, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty decent special. Not a great captain ability, of course. And his attack goes up to 1,020. It's a pretty nice attack, too. We have Mr. One, who is a strength character. Mr. One. Where'd you go? Boop -boop -boop. Mr. One. Mr. One will reduce the cooldown of all your units by one turn and boost the slasher, boost slasher type attack by two times. Not a great character, I not a great captain whenever you're comparing him to like Mihawk and Doflamingo, but it still has a two times attack boost. And his special deals 15 times his attack and strength damage to all enemies, boosts his attack or boosts attack of slasher characters by 1.5 times for two turns if your health is below 30%. So this one actually says, or this one we know is health below 30%. I'm assuming that Jinbei also works the same way. Uh, but having a 1.5 times boost for two turns is really, really good. Uh, Kuma, I mean, Kozu is one of my favorite slasher type boosters for a long time. But now Kozu is just completely outclassed by uh, Kuina, who gives you a 1.75 times attack boost if you hit all your perfects. And by Mr. One, who gives you a 1.5 times attack boost for two turns if you're a low health. Uh, of course, Kuina and Mr. One, you gotta be a little bit more clever with how you use their specials. And then Buggy. Buggy is a quick character who I don't have yet. He is the secret stage. And remember that Buggy, the secret stage, like all secret stages, oh, I'm sorry, it's Koza, not Koza, you're right. Thanks, chat. 
uh, buggy, the secret stage buggy on 30 stamina always has about a 10% drop rate. All secret stages have all secret stages have about a 10% drop rate or 10% chance of showing up on 30 stamina. And then the lower stamina you get, the lower the chance they have of showing up. What buggy's what buggy does is he boosts the attack of ambition characters by 1.5 and boosts the amount of belly that you get from winning a stage by 1.2. And his special sharply reduces all defense for enemies' defense for one turn, so it's a large defense. It's not a zero defense drop, but it's a large defense drop. And then deals 15 times his attack and quick damage to all enemies. Not the best character. It has a 32 turn cooldown, and his attack only goes up to 700. So Buggy isn't really that good. Um, not a great secret stage. But uh, Mr. One is definitely pretty nice, and Jinbei also is really nice. And the best thing about Jinbei is he is another way to get sockets for your other Jinbeis. Uh, the skill books you can get for this island are completely glossed over, are really good. You get Hancock skill books, you get uh, Raikuyo skill books, you get Ivankov, and now that is the uh, int version of Ivankov, not the raid boss Ivankov. Raid bosses do not have skill books, so that is not raid boss Hancock, that's not raid boss Ivankov, that is their uh, regular character versions. And we get Inazuma books. So all those books, all really good. Ho really hoping to get all those characters. Guys, good luck. I've been Zinigami. You're going to see some more teens after this. And y'all stay beautiful.